Dímelo, mi gente. Estamos activos. I'm Kelsey. I'm David. So today we decided to do a back workout for you guys. We're also going to show you what we ended up cooking that night. So we really did a lot of lat workouts focused on upper body today. Mm -hmm. So we do behind the neck and then front as well. So Kelsey decides <laughs> that she's going to do the front and the back at the same time. Which is totally fine. You guys can do it however you guys want to. I personally like to do it. Uh, I alternate. So one at a time I go front. And then the second time I go back. And then I do it twice again. Okay. On each side. In my defense, I come from the HIIT workout world. And we try to get as much done as quickly as possible. Because I feel like time is money. David, however, takes his time a lot more at the gym than I do. Yeah, and you know who loves all those workouts? Chiropractors. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's CrossFit, not HIT. Both of them, chiropractors love that. <laughs> Look at that. We, oh. felt, we felt bad getting people in the background. We really tried, but <laughs> it's hard at our gym. Man, they want some camera action. That's what they want. They want some, some, some of their limit did. of fame. Whenever yeah. they see our leg day video, there is people trying to get on camera. Yeah, out of all spaces, they want to be there. Okay, look, as you can see, Kelsey's here. We, we're we going to get some POV action on the side. Look. Because if you ask David, he's better at recording than I am. Oh, wait, but I get the better angles, too. Look at that. Oh, One, that two, double all chin, the way that's down. the best angle. No. <laughs> all the way down. Squeeze, you got to breathe. Okay, I'm going. Let's Man, I had a clean fade that day. Look at that clean fade. Shout out to my barber, Jesse. Jesse, if you're out there, if you ever watch this. Shout out to the guy hanging the whole time. Oh, yeah, I think we're not supposed to be talking about other people, but he is hanging there. <laughs> he was hanging for a while, man. That guy has some strength, there, but as you can see. <laughs> No. All right. Oh, yeah. Then we went on to some seated cable rows. You got a row. So we do less of these. We typically do three sets of 10. Yeah, just, just to pump the blood to the muscle. Um, You just got to remember to try to keep your back, like, not all, like, a little bit straight, but not all the way, like, a little bit of a curve. And you try to, like, really pull and squeeze at the same time. And don't do your legs like I did. You need to extend them. Which yeah, you need to learned, you need apparently. to extend your legs a little bit so you can get the full range of motion. And I mean, you're gonna yank at some point. The more way you do, you're gonna be yanking a little bit. And I know some people always the those freaking people that are perfect and stuff. Oh, you're yanking the way you're yanking the way. Well, at, the, at some point, you gotta yank the way, bro, so you can be straight. But it is what it is. There's always the haters. And the followers. And you know what they say. Haters will eventually turn into followers. But yeah, as you can see. I am not straightening my legs. Yeah. Oh yeah, then we went on to some T-bar rows. It's the first time we did this in a while. So we, we, give us a little mercy, especially me, because David catches on way faster in the gym than I do. It took me about two years just to start getting decent form. And as you guys can see, it's really decent. And that's yeah. maybe an overstatement. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you just <laughs> remember you got to put your back more and just try to bend your legs so you don't put that much stress. But as you can see, Kelsey here, she's a little bit worried about her form. And she's a little stiff. But she gets better. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it's being stiff because... It just does not come natural to me. Like, David, perfect form comes so natural to him. And to me, it is not. I need to practice before I even attempt it. I need to do it with no weight because I will end up pulling something or injuring myself. Yeah, I think that it's just, just the thing is that I, I have a, like, picture out in my hand, like, kind of like photogrammic memory. But if you guys, I mean, if it doesn't work, I mean, it's not going to be perfect the first the first time you guys do this. Or the first two years for some of us. <laughs> no but you do get better um as you do it you just have to i think the main thing is that you have to start uh overthinking i think that's one of the biggest misconceptions at the gym 
is that people always think that everybody else is watching what you're working on, which is truly, I mean, truly not, man. Like, I, I didn't come close to decapitating myself, and nobody was there to help me. Oh, yeah, and anyways, we went and do some dual cable lap pull downs. This one was hard to record just because of the lighting, so we apologize for the darkness, but you can still see what we're doing. We like to alternate our hands, so you'll you'll see David yeah, switch so you, them right now. Yeah, so you go like uh, outside, and then you try to, I don't know how to say it, but you, fl you flip your, twi your like wrist, you yeah, as, as I just did right there, and it starts to hit the lats, but it also kind of hits the biceps as a, like a secondary tertiary uh, muscle. And correct me if I'm wrong, David, but we should be doing five and five like I did, not seven and three. Yeah, I think I miscounted. But the whole point is to try to get ten. <laughs> I mean, I recommend doing it at five one way, and then you twist your your wrist uh, inwards, and then that way you get it. But you you feel it a little bit on your wrist. Uh, I mean, on your forearms as well. So the forearms would be the secondary. Damn, look at that clean fade, man. I Barbara hooked me up. I see Galao. He really did that day. I was fresh. As you can see, I man, I'm trying to squeeze everything right there. I think it was one of the last ones. Right there. How many do we do this? Switch. Four sets of ten? Yeah, four sets of ten, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we do we, oh yeah, look. <laughs> She's, this is where David thinks he's great at the angles. Yeah, I get the I'm angles. more focused on the camera than the workout. Yeah, I know, but you look how shiny you look. You look golden. Okay, guys, next up like is our real cooking video. So please enjoy my awkwardness. And then here we just did some pull ups uh, until failure. Yeah, I'm hanging on till dear life here, man. And just taking everything there. Yeah, I'm not getting and shit. And don't ask me how much of weight I took off. <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's and just say uh, i'm probably lifting about 10 to 15 pounds <laughs> if and i'm still there. feeling it mm -hmm. yeah there's a still failure um yeah try to try to use some pre-workout whenever you're you're hitting back or legs man because it really takes all your energy all right, guys. Well, enjoy our Wednesday mm -hmm. dinner and my awkwardness and all of its glory. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, guys. So tonight is currently Wednesday. Uh, we try to cook at least three times a week, usually more. Uh, we like to make food that everyone loves, but we try to make it healthier. So tonight we're doing cheeseburgers. We will be using lean ground beef, whole wheat bread. Um, we have our cheese, tomatoes, lettuce. We're doing sweet potato fries, and I, it's a new brand. We haven't tried it, so if it's good, I'll let you guys know what brand we use. So stay tuned and enjoy this little monologue of our Wednesday night dinner. Okay, guys, so we like to use romaine lettuce, Roma tomatoes, and those um, are the Kraft cheese singles. I just like to open them up in advance so I can put them on the burgers quickly. This is the sweet potato fries that we used. That is them cold. We used whole wheat bread, lean ground beef. I try to prepare everything just to show you guys exactly what we like to use because we always try to find healthier options, like I said. There's our meat cooking. The buns were done at this point. Yeah, we like it well done. Just P.S. I did not cook none of this. I'm just jumping in here. <laughs> I was plain Madden with Aiden. <laughs> Let's check on our fries. They need about 10 more minutes. And they needed some salt, too. We didn't know that at that point. Okay, don't judge our burgers. We like them well done, especially my son. If he sees any pink, and also me, too, I, I won't eat it. David, you eat a little pizza. Yeah, I can eat like a medium, medium well. Not medium. You yes, can eat medium I can. Well. Yes. Not not medium rare or <laughs> blue rare. None of that freaking crazy stuff. I just, blue rare. Oh, yeah. Look how good they looked. So we look opened it up. I didn't show you guys. We melt the cheese on the patties like right before we take them off. So it gets a real good melt on it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, 
Got look at that. I look ketchup, at that steam. Lettuce, tomato. Here's yeah. Aiden's plate. Hey guys, so we just finished eating. Aiden ate his whole burger. David ate about one and a half. Yeah, one and a half. I finished my burger. The sweet potato fries, what do you rate them? Mmm, seven, because you need to add salt to you them. need to add salt, and then there was a couple that were just really bad. Some of them just, they weren't real sweet. That's yeah, either a hit or miss, so. Yeah, Walmart today, I only seen those and the great value, and I thought I was getting the nicer one, but I'll, I'll try the great value next time and let you guys know if those are any better. But we're pretty much done for the night. We're watching Found. Yeah, our Wi-Fi went out. <laughs> so we're using our iPad, and that'll be our night. We'll get ready for bed, for work. Yeah. Aiden's last week of school. Yeah, for the holiday break. Mm-hmm. All right, well, we will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm. Bye.